you're gonna, uh, we're gonna do a little uh, dynamic here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you an image and you tell me what you feel when you see the image, okay? This first image <laughs> is you yeah. with the U.S. Men's National Team as the head coach. Yeah. Awesome time. I would call it an awesome time. Yeah, I'm very honored that I was coaching the U.S. team. Is, was that one of your dreams when you came to the United States? No, I never thought actually I would go into coaching, you know, when I came over in 1998 after the World Cup in France, but I, I felt very, very privileged and honored to lead the U.S. national team program. Now, this next picture, this next image, it was taken shortly after the U.S. men's national team failed to qualify in Trinidad. Yeah, very sad, and I was watching it myself on TV, and I, I couldn't believe it that it happened. What do you think was attributed to, just to that game? Yeah, I think, you know, it's just, uh, you were not prepared for finishing things off. You were qualified 99%. So whatever reason went wrong there with the entire environment, it went wrong and nobody would expect that the other two games go in the same direction. This picture, it's uh, Greg Berhalter, now head coach of the U.S. Men's National Team. Yeah. Your overall opinion of him? I'm very positive, a good person, and I really, really hope that he gets given a chance to grow that program. Now, by given a chance, uh, what does that mean? Well, I, I think, you know, there's one thing is obviously got to qualify for Qatar. Uh, um, but also, I mean, the big wish is here in this region is here, okay, how can we make it happen that the U.S. or Costa Rica or Mexico get into a Final Four of a World Cup? And that's a big, big challenge. What, what is it about Greg Berhalter that you like about it? Maybe his system, his tactics, maybe him as a No, as a I like his person. I cannot uh, um, tell how he does things on the inside. But you wish him that he's given a chance to, to, to make the players grow. Um, I think he saw things from different perspectives. He played in Europe as well. So he knows a little bit the European approach to things. He knows, obviously, things, how it works in the U.S. Um, he needs time to bring in his ideas and make things grow. Um, at the end of the day, you need the competition, and the competition is CONCACAF. So it's, it's a big task for Greg, but I'm, I'm positive that he's uh, doing well. You, you spoke about needing time. Uh, why after Bruce Arena's let go, uh, there's so much time, almost 13 months with an interim, why not just give the job to Greg then and let him experiment, let him have time to develop these players? I don't know, the only expectation is to save money. <laughs> Tata Martino, Gerardo Tata Martino, yeah. now the head coach of the Mexican yeah. national team. Yeah, oh, fantastic coach. I mean, Tata, he showed it in all, in all directions and all levels. You know, very exciting for the Mexico, uh, Mexican national team. Um, he's a proven winner and uh, um, will be interesting now to see, you know, how he does. I'm not taking anything away from Greg because I actually do value him as a coach. Uh, but many thought Tata Martino may be the head coach of the U.S. Men's National Team with his time in Atlanta and the time that he spent here in the States. Why do you think he was overlooked for that? I don't think that Tata was overlooked. I, I think that the U.S. soccer probably looked uh, the, the way they want to see things and they thought, you know, that this is the best decision they can make. Um, I think there will be always speculations about, you know, who could become a new coach of whatever country. So we will always have the discussion. Uh, Tata, Tata Martino is obviously is a proven name. Uh, mm -hmm. But I think Greg is given a chance for a reason now. And, and once given that chance, you've got to give him the trust, you've got to give him the support and, and also the time to make something special out of it. And uh, the time is now a stretch towards 2022, uh, towards Qatar. I'm thousand percent sure we're going to qualify. And then uh, he can prove it in the tournament how far he can take the team. Now, every U.S. fan <laughs> thinks they're going to qualify. I think that's a given, you know, especially after what happened. Uh, you should qualify, especially in this region. But they want more. U.S. fans want more. Now, in 2026, you have that opportunity here in your backyard. What do they need to do to really compete in that tournament? Well, I mean, the good thing about... The perspective that you have now, the, the bigger picture that we always talk about, is, is uh, you have a, a, a time span. Obviously, you've got to be in Qatar and you've got to do well in Qatar, no, no problem. But towards 2026, 20, um, you have the chance now with that young team that we talked about, with these young players, you know, Tyler Adams, a Christian Pulisic, you know, Weston McKinney, and all these young kids coming through the ranks, Josh Sargent, and so on to build something really, really special towards your own World Cup in your own country. So this is huge, you know. What they need is 
highest competition possible. That's what they need, you know, and uh, hopefully we can give them that. Now this last picture is a picture of you. Surprising me with pictures and Yes, pictures. this is the last one, you <laughs> and Landon Donovan. Yeah. What does this picture come to mind? What, is it, what do you feel when you see this picture? Well, I feel uh, proud of having worked with Landon. Landon was an outstanding player. I mean, obviously a lot of uh, things were said after I didn't take Landon to Brazil uh, in 2014, but that was based on performance and nothing else, you know. But he's been kind of a, the, the poster boy of American soccer for so many years, but even Landon got older <laughs> towards the end of his career, and that was the decision then to go with somebody else. But it's been a pleasure to, to have worked with him. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.